Welcome to African Dream Motivation. Milton Hershey was born on September 13, 1857. He had a sister who died at the age of four. Like many children in the rural areas, Milton was expected to help on the family farm. As a child, it was on the farm he learned the value of hard work and perseverance. He had a very limited education with no schooling beyond fourth grade. In 1871, he left school for good and became an apprentice of Sam Ernest. Sam was a man who published a German-English newspaper. Milton found the job so boring and didn't like it at all. He always wished he could do something about it. While working, he accidentally dropped his hat into one machine and this got his boss so angry, he was fired afterward. Even though he always hated the job, he feared how his parents would react. His father still wanted him to learn the printing trade, so he spoke to Sam again to accept Milton back, which Sam agreed. Before he could return, his mother and aunt stepped in to halt his return and instead insisted he learn candy making. His mother arranged for 14-year-old Milton to be an apprentice to a confessional named Joseph Roger in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Over the next four years, he learned the craft of candy making and mastered it so well. In 1876, he relocated to Philadelphia to search for a space to rent for his new business. The same year, Philadelphia hosted an international exposition celebrating its centenary anniversary. Hundreds of thousands of people visited Philadelphia for the celebration. Milton saw it as a great opportunity to write on it to take his business to the next level. He printed business cards and worked so hard on many varieties of confession products. His candy shop became very profitable to the extent that he couldn't contain the growth anymore. He expanded into a larger space and his business was growing. He worked long hours most of the time and sometimes he didn't go home but rather slept at the store. He concentrated on so many products at a go in an effort to appeal to everyone. This brought the downfall of his business because in Philadelphia, the competition was very fierce. So the moment you miss your step a little, you get trampled upon. Since he was doing so many varieties, the volume of candy was too small and couldn't make him enough money to sustain his business. He fell behind the bills and his suppliers began demanding cash before raw materials would be supplied. He began taking loans repeatedly, but it wasn't enough. After fighting so hard for six years, his business went bankrupt and was back to square one. He then traveled to Denver, where he found a job at a local confectioner. Working in Denver, he learned how to make caramels using fresh milk and later settled in New York City in 1883. With so much experience, he started a second business, which was a success, and it lasted for three years, after which the business closed down. After his business closed in 1886, he left New York City and returned to Lancaster, Pennsylvania. He wanted to start his business again, but he didn't have the capital. He borrowed money from the bank to start Lancaster Caramel Company, and it became a big success. It grew big and employed over 1,300 people. He was able to command $1 million when he sold the company. He went on to found Hershey Chocolate Company, which still lives till today. He was a man who loved children a lot, but unfortunately, his wife couldn't have children. Therefore, he decided to help others by establishing the Hershey Industrial School with a deed of trust in 1909 and later transferred most of his assets, including control of the company to Milton Hershey School Trust Fund. To benefit the industrial school. 
With respect to his extraordinary achievement, the International Chocolate Day is celebrated on his birthday, which is September 13th of every year. This was a man who dropped out of school, filled his first apprenticeship, and filled in business also. But with perseverance, he was able to establish one of the greatest companies the world had ever seen. No matter what you've been through, no matter how many times you failed, remember that if you could focus on your dream, you will surely get there. If Milton Hershey could do it, you also can. Be inspired and never give up. Thanks for watching this video to the end. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Also, share this video with anyone you believe will love it as you did. Thanks again. See you in our next video. Until then, have a nice day.